Good day, engineers. Para sa video natin na to, ang didiscuss natin will be kung paano kunin, uh, paano kunin yung mga bearing capacity factors na gagamitin natin for the Tersagis bearing capacity equation. So, una na dito, ang didiscuss natin will be the graphical values for bearing capacity factor. So, at times, kung... Uh, sa board exam, ang binibigay sa atin is yung kagaya nito na graph and dito natin kinukuha yung bearing capacity factor para masolve yung ultimate bearing capacity equation uh, using Tersagis uh, bearing capacity equation. So, paano nga ba ginagamit itong uh, graph na to at paano natin makukuha dito yung mga bearing capacity factor? So, let's say Uh, we have a phi which is uh, 25 degrees. So, ngayon, paano natin kukunin yung mga bearing capacity factor given we have an angle of sharing resistance or an angle of internal friction which is 25 degrees. So, ngayon, as you can see uh, on this table, on the left side, we have here Uh, the angle of sharing resistance in degrees. On the upper side, we have uh, the value of NC. On our lower side, we have here the values for NQ and N gamma. So, paano nga ba gamitin to? Let's say, ito siya, meron tayo ditong 25 degrees on the angle of sharing resistance na nasa left side. So, guhitan lang natin. So, sundan natin yung guhit on uh, the 25. So, much better kung uh, niruler nyo siya. So, freehand lang yung ginagawa ko kasi. So, ayan. Tapos, nakakita tayo ng mga lines dito. Uh, Naka-indicate naman sa kanya kung NC, N gamma, or NQ siya. So, for our NC, una, uh, mag-drawing tayo ng line na papunta dun sa NC kung saan sila nag-intersect ng line natin ng 25 degrees. So, eto, NC, dito sila nag-intersect. So, dun siya sa taas. So, masyadong makapal tong line na to. Ipisa natin. So, ayan. Ayan. Then, yung end gamma naman natin will be kung saan din to mama which is eto, approximately yan. Approximately yan. And then, ibaba natin dito. Then, yung para sa NQ naman is ito. Then, ibaba pa din natin siya dito sa part na to. So, this is just merely approximations. Kung may ruler tayo, uh, mas okay na sukatin natin yung bawat lines. I-divide na lang natin yung mga Uh, measurements na nandun sa ruler for this type of graphs. So, approximately our NC, tumapat siya approximately nasa gitna. So, we can say na yung NC natin for a 25 degree na phi is a value also which is a 25. So, this is just a mere approximation since wala naman tayong Uh, pang measure nung mismong uh, kung ano nga ba talaga yung scale nung 20 to 30 na yon then next uh, here we have yung in between 8 uh, 9 and 10 na value so that is approximately let's say mga uh, yung n gamma natin dyan is approximately siguro mga 9.7 ganun So, N gamma natin will be 9.7. And last, yung NQ natin, 
approximately coming from uh, that graphical value we have so that is from 10 to 20 tapos nandito siya na part so approximately let's say that is uh, a value 13 So, mere approximation, ito yung tinatawag natin sa engineering na tangiometer. So, hindi man siya ganun ka-exact, pero uh, these are mere approximated values based on our graph. And kung meron man tayong measure, uh, measuring instrument, uh, much better kasi masusukat natin kung ano talaga yung ating uh, exact measurement or uh, exact values coming from the graph. Next, after determining uh, bearing capacity factors from graphical values, we also have here uh, an option for the tabular values for bearing capacity factor. So, we have here two tables. So, yung unang table dyan, uh, which is ito, uh, that is yung... Uh, bearing capacity factor from Tersagi itself na nilagay into a table. So, this uh, bearing capacity factor is limited since ang values lang niya is from uh, is exactly 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. So, meron din uh, from Carl Tersagi's textbook, meron siyang uh, equation na ginamit dun. So, nakapag-arrive din sila nung uh, table na ganito coming from uh, that equation. So, limited lang yung angle of friction na pwede niyang ibigay uh, sa'yo. Then, yung pangalawang table natin na nandito is coming from the textbook of... Uh, Braha M. Das. So... As you can see, yung n-gamma values dito are from Kumbok, uh, Kumbodj car. So, 1993. So, as you can see, sinabi na agad dito ni Braham Das that this table is for general failure mode. So, this is for general shear failure. Kung magkaroon man tayo ng problem regarding local shear, uh, shear failure, so, ang gagamitin na natin doon is the table from local shear failure. So, meron din nun from the textbook of Brahem Das. So, paano naman natin kinukuha dito yung uh, bearing capacity factor? So, start tayo from Tersagis. So, from Tersagis table. So, we have here, kunin natin kung same value, yung fee natin is 25 degrees. So, kunin lang natin yung values coming from the 25 degree uh, angle from the table. So, ito siya. So, that is, for NC, that is 25.1. So, NC is equal to 25.1. And Q is equal to uh, 12.7 and n gamma will be equivalent to a value of 9.7 so as you can see yung Tersagi's table natin na nakuha ngayon or kinuha from uh, Tersagi's table or yung bearing capacity factor natin na galing sa Tersagi's table is approximately the same dun sa tinansya natin from the graphical value. So, 25, 25.1 dun sa Tersagi's table, 9.7 approximate yung kinuha natin for n gamma, which is same as from Tersagi's table, pero yung NQ natin is 13, which is 12.7 uh, coming from uh, our Tersagi's table. So, yung table naman ni, na pinrobide from Braha M. Das. So,
So, yung NC dito, so, punin natin dun sa table. So, yung 25, which is ito. So, yan yung value. So, for 25 degrees, that should be, uh, NC is 25.134. NQ will be 12.720 and N gamma will be equivalent to 8.342. So, meron ding paring discrepancy from bra MDAS and dun sa Tersagis table. So, whatever is indicated in the problem, uh, yun yung gagamitin natin or we shall use uh, those things from uh, whatever the problem gives us. So, kung pinapagamit niya tayo ng Tersagis table, use the Tersagis table. Kung yung meron siyang sariling table na uh, pinrovide, so use that table and kung graphical values, kailangan uh, marunong tayong sumukat nung uh, graph para malaman natin yung exact values coming from uh, the graph itself. So, for the last option in determining the bearing capacity factors, we have here the alternative equations for the bearing capacity factor. So, we have uh, for NQ, NC, and N gamma. Uh, for NQ, that is proposed by Prandtl. Uh, this is the Prandtl equation. Then, yung NC is a race, uh, Restner equation. And yung N gamma is a V6 equation. So, uh, let's try this uh values using yung phi na 25 degrees. So, coming from this one, we have here, uh, yung NQ natin will be equivalent to E pi uh, tangent of phi times tangent squared 45 plus phi over 2. As you can see, itong tangent squared 45 plus phi over 2 corresponds to the passive earth coefficient uh, equation. So, that is simply e pi tangent of phi times coefficient of uh, passive earth coefficient or the earth coefficient for passive condition. So, substitute natin. So, that will be e pi tangent of 25 times tangent squared 45 plus 25 over 2. So, our NQ coming from uh, this equation will be equivalent to 10.6621. Then next, uh, we go now to NC. NC will just be equivalent to NQ minus 1 over tangent of phi. So, that will be equal to 10.6621 minus 1 over the tangent of 25. So, we have here a value of NC equivalent to 20.7204. So, that will be our NC and our N gamma from these equations will be 2 times nq plus 1 times the tangent of phi. So, that will be equivalent to a value 2 times 0 point or 10 point 6621 plus 1 times the tangent of 25 degrees. So, our n gamma will just be equivalent to 10.8763. So, that will be the values coming from uh, the equation from Prandtl, Resner, and uh, V6 equation. So, that is the alternative equations for our bearing capacity factors. So, that is all for the bearing capacity factors. Uh, pwede nyo gamitin kahit ano dito sa mga values na to. And basta kung ano yung given sa problem, 
or kung ano indicated sa problem, yun lang yung dapat sundin natin to gain uh, the correct answer from the indicated problem. So, that will be all for uh, this video. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.